Welcome to the Maths Made It Easy tutorial on scatter graphs. Uh, this is the second video on this topic. If you've not seen the first one, I highly recommend you watch that first. Um, but this is just going to cover some example questions that are similar to ones that you might see in an exam. Uh, so this first example is about plotting scatter graphs. So below it's a table of 11 students' marks on their maths and English tests. Plot a scatter graph from this data. Uh, now the first thing we have to do is find a suitable scale. Uh, so if we have a look through both columns and try and find the highest mark, uh, in the maths mark you'll see it's 92 and in the English mark you'll see it's 88. Uh, so these are the two highest points so we need our scale to go at least as high as 92 and 88. Uh, so let's put maths mark along the x-axis here and we'll put the English mark along the y-axis here. Okay, uh, and now we need to just uh, choose our scale. Uh, so as you can see, there's a range of uh, marks and the highest are 88 and 92, as I've said, and there are 10 squares on each axis. So I'm gonna use uh, one large square represents uh, a mark of 10. Uh, so it goes up in increments of 10. Uh, so on the maths mark scale, we'll have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and we'll have the same on the English mark scale. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So the next thing we have to do is just plot the points. Uh, so for a maths mark of 38, there's an English mark of 74. So if we go to 38 on the maths mark, that's this bit here, and then up to 74, uh, the point should be about there. And then I'll do the next one as well. So 62 on, on the maths mark and English mark of 44. So if we go to 62, and then up to 44, the next point is there. Uh, so I'll do the rest of the points, and I'll join you again afterwards. Okay, so the complete graph should look like the one I've drawn here. Uh, now I could also have chosen to put the English mark on the x-axis and the math mark on the y-axis. Uh, now it doesn't really matter which one is which in this case, usually we try and put the dependent variable on the y-axis, so that's the one we're measuring, and the independent variable on the x-axis, but in this case it doesn't really matter which is which. So moving on to the second part of the question then, using your scatter graph from the previous question, predict the English mark of someone who achieved a mark of 60 in maths. Okay, well uh, now we're going to need to draw a line of best fit. Um, and if you remember there's 11 data points, so we need about 5 data points on each side of the line. Uh, so I'm going to have a go at drawing a straight line now. Uh, make sure you use a ruler if you're drawing a straight line in an exam. So if I draw a line like so you can see that there's a roughly equal number of data points on each side of the line. I mean, my line is roughly straight, yours should be completely straight because you should be using a ruler. Uh, and as you can see, the spacing from the, data, from the line to the data points is roughly the same uh, for each of the data points. So this line is actually quite a good line of best fit. Uh, so now we need to use our line to predict the, mark, uh, the English mark sorry, of someone who achieved a mark of 60 in maths. Uh, so let's go to 60 in maths and draw a straight line up until we hit the line of best fit. Now I'll draw a straight line across until we hit the y-axis, so that's the English mark. And you can see that corresponds to an English mark of 48. Uh, so we would say that someone who achieved a mark of 60 in maths achieved a mark of 48 in English. And then the next part of the question says state whether this is an interpolation or an extrapolation. So here we're using our line of best fit to estimate a point which is inside of the range of the data that's given in the question. Uh, so in this case, this is an interpolation. If it was outside of the range, so if we were estimating uh, the mark of in English of someone who scored 10 in maths, uh, we draw a line up at 10, we see that this is outside the range of all the data points which were given, uh, and so the, the line of best fit would not be a particularly useful tool uh, to make predictions, therefore, uh, and then this would be an extrapolation. So if you want to practice some scatter graphs exam style questions, then why not have a go with our online exam? It's available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, and you receive instant feedback on all of them. So this is really useful if you find, want to find out where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, and how you can improve quickly. So if you're interested, then click the link below, it will take you straight there.